With a second round spinning wheel kick against the number one contender Marlon Moraes, Corey Sandhagen has put himself well and truly back in the hunt for a UFC title at UFC Fight Night 179. A win for Magic Moraes would have punched his ticket to another bantamweight title fight, but the Sandman was on a mission. The American pushed the pace until he planted his heel across Moraes' temple. A few punches later, and it was done. Sandhagen moved above Moraes as the number two contender in the UFC's bantamweight rankings, leaving Aljamain Sterling as the champ, Petter Jan's next opponent. That could have been Sandhagen if Sterling hadn't taken him out in just 44 seconds. Former UFC champs Jose Aldo and Dominic Cruz are now a long way from another title, while Sterling went straight after the king. Hey, Dana White, I'm waiting for your chicken in December, tweeted the new number one contender. Give me your chicken or I'm coming for dad ass. The champ obviously didn't like being called a chicken, and the Russian eloquently replied, I'm waiting for you, You will be held accountable for every word you said. They'll meet at UFC 256. Fight Night 179 will also be remembered for Joaquin Buckley blasting Impa Kasangani's very soul from this realm and into the next with a spinning kick of his own. KO of the year for sure. Sanhagen and Buckley were always going to take home an extra 50K performance bonus from Fight Night 179. Tom Breeze earned himself a bonus as well for his first round knockout jab, as did Chris Daukas for ending his fight in just 45 seconds. In other UFC news, the potential matchup between the former lightweight champ Conor McGregor and the former interim champ Dustin Poirier has left Tony Ferguson feeling left out in the cold. About between El Kukoy, a former interim champ himself, and Poirier recently fell through due to the diamond being unhappy about the amount of money he was being offered for the fight. McGregor, however, who offered to donate $500,000 to Poirier's Good Fight Foundation charity organization, has had no such problems. What a sellout, taking a bribe from an international terrorist. Good job, kid. I represent America, tweeted Ferguson. All that talk about the fight game only to be afraid to be left behind and out of the loop? Take the money and be proud. Fake. And finally, the former light heavyweight champ John Jones is admitted to hiding from the Nevada State Athletic Commission to avoid testing positive for marijuana. The confession comes in response to his increasingly heated online feud with the middleweight champ Israel Adesanya and is in reference to a test Jones avoided in the lead up to his 2015 bout against Daniel Cormier. I was hiding from Nevada State Athletic Commission, not USADA. And that was years ago, tweeted Jones. I had just smoked a blunt and was afraid I would fail my test for weed. That's the actual truth. And it might be, but he tested positive for cocaine a week after the bout. In other MMA results, Timothy Johnson upset the hometown legend Czech Congo in the headliner of Bellator Paris. And in the Bellator 248 section of the card, Michael Page decisioned Ross Houston in the main event. To the boxing, and according to the WBC and lineal heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, he will no longer be facing Deontay Wilder in a second rematch this December. The two are contractually obligated to face each other for a third time, and were originally scheduled to throw down in July. That bout had to be postponed to October due to the coronavirus pandemic, and then again to December. But now Fury is done with it. I've been training, I'm ready, explained the big guy. But when they tried moving off December 19 and pushing to next year, enough was enough. I've moved on. This could be great news for fight fans, as the Gypsy King has agreed to face the unified champion Anthony Joshua twice in 2021. Those bouts would crown the heavyweight division's first undisputed champ in over 20 years, but not so fast. Wilder's co-manager, Shelly Finkel, has reportedly claimed that their legal agreement is still valid due to this unprecedented pandemic situation. 
and that they fully intend to continue negotiations. As their last bout made over 17 million in ticket sales alone, Fury's U.S. promoter Bob Arum of Top Rank has repeatedly expressed his desire to hold off on the trilogy until they can fight in front of fans. So it seems the only person wanting to move on is the Gypsy King himself. As for AJ, his pandemic postponed defense against Kubrat Pulev may have settled on a new date and location, at least according to Pulev's Facebook page. No turning back, no procrastination, announced the Cobra. Kubrat Pulev versus Anthony Joshua. The date is December 12th, and the place is London. We'll be waiting for an official confirmation on both fights. In the lightweight division, the unified champ Vesel Lomachenko has spoken of his confidence going into this weekend's highly anticipated clash against the IBF champ Teofimo Lopez in what could be one of the best fights of the year. I feel great. Preparation was very good. We're ready on 100%. And we, can, we can't wait October 17th. The two-time Olympic gold medalist and fastest ever three-weight men's pro world champion is widely considered one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in boxing. But Loma is not sleeping on the undefeated heavy-hitting Lopez. Uh, he has a good punch. He has a very good speed. He has IQ. Uh, he's young. He's hungry. But uh, we'll see. I have a goal. I have a dream. And he holds a belt, IBF title and uh, I need this belt. And Saturday, Saturday, October 17, I will try to take this belt. Vessel Lomachenko versus Teofimo Lopez to unify the WBA, WBO, and IBF lightweight titles is set to go down in Las Vegas this Saturday, the 17th of October. And the COVID-delayed bout between unified welterweight champ Errol Spence Jr. and the former two-division champ Danny Garcia has been rescheduled for December 5th. The bout will take place at the AT&T Stadium and will be the first major fight to take place with fans in attendance, albeit at a greatly diminished capacity to follow coronavirus safety guidelines. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.